Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate exam of 2005. It was asked for one mark. They are saying maximum window size for data transmission using the selective reject protocol with n bit frame sequence number is. So first point is what is the selective reject protocol? It's nothing but selective repeat protocol only. Selective repeat is also sometimes called selective reject. Okay. So this is from the same topic that we just now studied. Also they are asking the maximum window size. Which window are they talking about? Is it the receiver window or the sender window? See, in selective repeat or selective reject, receiver window size is equal to the sender window size. That means whatever window they are talking about, we can just find out for sender. Because anyway sender and receiver uh, window size will be equal. So let me just write it window size of sender is equal to window size of receiver because it is selective repeat. Okay, suppose this value is x. We need to determine what is the maximum value that x can take if n bits are allowed in sequence number field. Now if sequence number field is of n bits, what is the total number of sequence numbers that we can generate? With n bits, you can generate 2 raised to the power n sequence numbers. Also, it is a well-known fact that sequence numbers will always depend on the window size of sender plus window size of receiver. Okay. See, you add window size of sender and window size of receiver. Minimum these many sequence number must be there. Okay. So the relation is the available sequence numbers must be greater than or equal to sender window size plus receiver window size. Okay, we'll just take a numerical example and I'll show it to you. For now, concentrate here. That means 2 power n is greater than or equal to 2x and x is greater than or equal to 2n divided by 2. 2 power n divided by 2. From here you can see 2 power n minus 1 is greater than or equal to x. This can also be read like x is smaller than or equal to 2 power n. So the maximum value that x can take is this because x can be this or anything smaller than this. That means maximum value of n is 2 raised to the power n minus 1. So let us see what is our answer. It is 2 raised to the power n minus 1. Now let us take some numerical example. If sender window size is 3, and receiver window size is also 3. In this case, we need minimum of 6 sequence numbers because it is 3 plus 3. Okay. Suppose center window size is 100, receiver window size will also be 100. In that case, you need 200 sequence numbers. Okay. Now suppose they have allowed say 4 bits. They have allowed 4 bits in sequence number field. That means value of n is 4. With 4 bits in the sequence number field, you can have 16 sequence numbers. Okay. 16 sequence numbers means maximum window at this side can be 8 and maximum window at that side can be 8. Okay. So 2 power n, 2 power 4, which is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Maximum window can be 8, 8 on center side and 8 on receiver side because 8 plus 8 will become 16. Okay. If you want to have bigger window, that means you want 9 window size 9 on this side and 9 on that side. In that case, you will require minimum of 18 sequence numbers, but we can have only 16 because 4 bits are there. Okay. So maximum window is 8 if n is 4 and if n is kept as it is, Maximum window size is this in selective repeat protocol. Okay.